Hey guys, it's Danielle, and I'm going to show you some hand and forearm work um, with my beautiful partner, Kristen. Um, she was letting me know that her left forearm is really jacked up, so we're going to have a lot of fun with that today. Mm -hmm. um, so what you're going to do is start with your receiver on the ground, or on the floor, wherever. Um, putting a little bolster or pillow, something underneath their neck, because honestly it just feels nice. Nobody really likes to just lay flat on their back. You know, if needed, put something underneath their knees to help support um, their low back and just take some of that pressure off. But today, I'm going to be focusing on all this arm and hand stuff. We use our hands to do a lot of different things, like eat and drive, play video games, because those are pretty much all I do. So anyway, we're going to come in. I like to come in first and just grab the arm and just kind of shake it out a little bit. What this does is this lets me know, A, where there's tension. Like, if she's not really moving, it could be shoulder stuff but we're moving around really nicely. What it also does is it helps kind of um, disrupt some of the signals going in here and uh, just makes it a little more loosey-goosey. So I like to come in first and do some palm presses or compressions, starting at right around the pecs and just kind of leaning in. Now you can see I've got my body parallel to hers, okay? Typically hip to hip, depending. Um, if I want to give, you know, little pressure, I'm gonna stay back here, so far away, like, but if I want to get a lot of pressure, <laughs> I'm going to really, really lean in and stack my body weight. Sometimes that means getting closer, maybe a little bit farther. Totally depends. But usually hip to hip is about where we want to be. So I'm touching my receiver. She knows I'm there. I'm not a ghost. So I'm going to come in, take my top hand or my inside hand, come right here on part of pecs and really that anterior front deltoid. I'm going to just lean in. How does that feel, Kristen? Would you like more or less pressure? No, it's perfect. Okay, good. As you can see, I've got the straight arm stacking my weight directly onto her um, shoulder cap or her anterior delt. These guys are responsible for moving your arm around. And uh, it's going to be that front delt, that red one. Oh, yeah, we feel that. So, and again, it's just a static compression. Just saying, hey. And then when I come out, you don't want to just like bounce off because it'll hurt. And, you know, I could do that and she'll cry. But we're going to lean in, take a big deep breath in. And then on the exhale, coming out very, very slowly, just like that. How is that, Kristen? So good. She loves it. Awesome. So we're going to do that all the way down using both hands. We want to make sure that we avoid the, um, basically, that inside of the elbow. There's just a lot of stuff here. Nobody really wants to be poked there. So that's what we're going to just avoid that. So above elbow, below elbow, big palm here. And we're using this part of our palm, the nice big flat part. This part of our palm and this part can be really sharp. And you know what, this part too, basically all around. So whenever we're doing it, we wanna use a flat palm because we wanna diffuse the pressure. If you have really sharp hands for whatever reason, you can lay down a towel to help that, um, help diffuse that pressure as well. So again, above and below, and I'm just gonna stack my body weight. How does that feel? Bueno. Great. I like to add in a little bit of a rocking motion because a oh, oh, oh so yeah. I got a real hard yeah, on that uh, my bicep. yeah with my uh, heel of my hand oops so again that's the reason why you want nice flat palms um, I like to come in lean and roll I like to move around a lot just like that I'm gonna widen my stance a little bit because it feels better on my low back. And I can feel all of this tension right here. I'm just gonna come in and hang out. Ooh, how does that feel? Mm -hmm. Come in and press. Another option is to do snakes. A lot of people like snakes. It feels good. It gets some nice motion too in these uh, little joints and all the way around. It just feels really good. So once we've done that, we're gonna take, again, if you find dense tissue up here in this bicep, flat palm, just go in. Just relax and lean and hold. How does that feel? Sometimes if you really want to, you can come in, grab the wrist, and just kind of do like a bicep curl. This is really just a very gentle, eh, somewhat gentle pin and stretch. It's a little bit more gentle because I'm not using my fingers or the heel of my hand. It's more that broad pressure. And just Articulate that forearm to get everything to move. And just check in with your receiver. How does that feel? Mm. She loves it. That's what that meant. It meant she loved it. <laughs> so you can feel free to interpret your receiver's noises however you want. <laughs> oh, shoot. So, as you can see, some of the anatomies on screen 
um, biceps. It's a big one. You know, we all have real strong guns. Kristen has great guns. And uh, people are really strong. So you want to just be mindful when we're working on this. It's going to be really, really intense. I also like to breathe. Well, I mean, breathing in general is important because, you know, death. Living and such. Yeah, right. It's important. Um, but typically, I also like to match my receiver's breathing because it helps us stay connected. And I'm a little bit more in tune. You know, for breathing changes, I might have too much pressure or, you know, it might not be enough. So just pay attention. So once we've had a chance to really warm up this whole arm, okay, we're going to focus a lot more on the forearm. So in this nice, big, meaty part, everybody's got conge congestion. Everybody's got dense tissue because we use our hands so much. We eat. I don't, I don't know who eats with their hands like that, but I apparently do. But we drive. We do everything in front of us. So we're going to come in. And one of the really great ones, if like kneeling like this has been bothering you, what we're going to do is we're just going to stand up just like that. We're going to take our inside leg, this one right here. I'm going to roll up my pant leg so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right. And we're going to come over and just like, like we're stepping on the gas, going to take the heel of our foot, come up and that nice big meaty part. And I'm just going to step forward like I'm stepping on the gas. How does that feel? Mm. Would you like more or less? Mm, just a little bit off that. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm too there. close to her elbow joint. Mm. No, she didn't like that. So that's cool. I moved. It's kind of nervy. For her. Now I'm also going to widen my stance a little bit because I'm a little unstable. Now, big deep breath in, and I'm going to step forward. And now I'm leaning my weight down my foot to give all the pressure like I'm stepping on the gas. So we're like, what, 60 miles an hour right now? I feel like I can go faster so I'm pressing more. She loves it. I can tell by her eyes. <laughs> so how is that, though? It's good. Good? OK. And really, when we're doing this, we're just going to hang out. We're just going to hang out and let her absorb whatever it is that we're doing. If you want, you can bend down oh, all the way down there. I've got apparently long legs. <laughs> we'll come down here. We can do this. <laughs> right, exactly. Like a T-Rex. <laughs> On T-Rex. Down here. Maybe that's the reason why I don't know how to eat a sandwich. Um, <laughs> anyway. Oh, shoot. Oh, my Lordy. That's nothing funny there. <laughs> right? So this is very intense for Kristen. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this particular position. It's just not great for my body and apparently long legs, T-Rex arms. So I'm going to slowly come out, take a big deep breath in. And I'm going to lift off. And you'll see the color change in her hand, just like that. Now, I know that I want to do more work in here. Just for whatever reason, that's not working for my body where I'm at today. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my knee. I like knees. Feels good on my body. Knees can be really sharp. So what you're going to do is, if you feel like you have really sharp knees or your receiver's forearm is just really, really delicate, you can lay down a towel, a blanket, a shirt, whatever. Something to help diffuse that pressure. It's all good. But again, you can see right in this area where I've already worked is where I'm going to take my knee. I'm going to use the flat part of my knee. Where is that? Ooh, right there. Yeah. I'm going to use the flat part of my knee. It's not, not the top. That's sharp. I'm going to use the front flat part of my knee and I'm going to come in very, very carefully and just slowly, slowly lower it down until I feel kind of a resistance. And that's just me meeting her dense tissue. I'm going to sink in just a little bit more. How does that feel? Would you like more or less pressure? Mm, no. Okay, so we're good here. I kind of know where to end up because I've been doing this for a while. But definitely check in with your receiver if they want more pressure. You can really stack your weight and push it all down if they want less. You can just come back here and hang out. So I'm going to come in right around there. That's what feels good to me for Kristen. And then. That's what feels good to me for Kristen. Yeah, exactly. But I'm in charge, right? Shh. <laughs> Again, interpret your receiver's oh, noises however you want. She says, no, no. <laughs> and I just feel like that's her muscles saying no, no to pain. Oh, so God, I'm here to help so you. Funny. I can't. <laughs> so while she's trapped underneath my knee and can't run away, <laughs> I have her hand. It's mine now. So just like it was when I was up earlier, I'm going to come in and really work the palm of this hand. And I start that first by spreading it wide. 
you know, we have a tendency to grab things and we're always closing our hands so they get stuck in these like claws. You know, you see the little bitty ladies claws. We don't want that. So we're gonna bring these all open and out just like that, right? And this is just palm spreading, really, really simple. If that's hurting your thumbs because you play too many video games, you can use the palm of your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. It's so funny today. <laughs> so He's doing a great job, thank God. <laughs> you might have to throw a blanket over your client. <laughs> They're very distracting as you're trying to give awesome advice. <laughs> Me, She's like here. a canary, okay? <laughs> but anyway, so again, use the palm of your hand, as you can see, palm to palm. And I'm just spreading her hands wide open like that. I'm going to come in. And it's just easy. You know, we use our fingers for a lot of stuff. So once I've done that, you can see that her hand has really changed a lot of color. You know, just a lot. And that's because I've stopped a lot of the blood flow because I'm pressing on her forearm. Um, be mindful for your receivers because this can be uncomfortable. You check in like, hey, how's your hand feeling? Feels great. Feels great. So Lots I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep going. If they're like, oh, it feels uncomfortable, it's numb and tingly, just ugh, stop, just slowly back off. You can always come back in later. Kristen's cool, so we're going to go forward. So now I know everybody always has this thumb stuff from, you know, playing video games because they're awesome. And we're going to come in and just do some cool. of this. Yeah, she loves it. She, yeah, she says picking weeds. It's video games. She tells me. You guys should send her lots of messages about how much you love video games. <laughs> She'll talk to you for hours about it. It's crazy. Oh. Anyway, so we're going to come in, and again, I'm just doing these like finger slides and just moving the tissue around. I like to come in down here with these, you know, two little bones of your fingers or a thumb and a palm of your hand and just press and open. This is really good for people who have carpal tunnel, mm -hmm. people who um, tattoo artists. Uh, gamers, massage the therapists, yes, us. We always tennis players. As if we actually get work. I know, tennis right? players is a great one. Jujitsu peeps. How do you feel about climb rocks? Probably. What is up with you and rock climbers today? Because they grip in their arms and hands all jacked. They're like the only people that grip. They're the main grippers. I don't know. I feel like jujitsu people grip a little they bit more. Yeah. Dental hygienists. Ooh, dental hygienists is a good one. Mm -hmm. Dentists. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so a lot of people it's grab a lot of stuff, <laughs> <laughs> and this will help them. So ask your receiver what they grab. The, in the answers might be interesting. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. People grab a lot of stuff. <clears throat> we are here to help them grab. So once we've done that, again, just opening it all up. I feel like I've been here for a while. So what I'm going to do is, Chris, and have you take a big deep breath in. And then now I'm going to slowly lean back and take the pressure off of my knee. And you will see the color flood to her hand. Oh, so just like that. How is that? That's so good. Right? So we did a lot of deep pressure in there. Oh, yeah. She's, she's uh, gripping and releasing to help get the blood flow back in there, which is really great. So I held that for a while, so I'm not going to immediately go back in because I'm going to let all of this stuff circulate. And what I like to do is just do a little bit of, it's called petrissage. That's a massage term. But I like to call it hamburger hands, where you come in and... <laughs> Dude, you can't laugh every time I, I do I, something. You gotta cover me with the towel. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Swear to God, I need a blanket. Can <laughs> marry. <laughs> so anyway, we got our hamburger hands, and we're just gonna come in and eat her forearm, which is making me laugh. <laughs> so, home. <laughs> Mind you, nobody's ever done this before. No massage therapist has ever gone in with hamburger hands. They have. And that's why I'm laughing. They don't say it. <laughs> They think it. Okay. So anyway. All right, let's mix up our seasonings, y'all. All right, so hamburger hands. Feels great. Oh, it does feel good. I know, it does, right? <laughs> so anyway, so we've done that. We see beautiful flow. And then we can also come in and do some pressure here, but we've spent a little bit of time here, so I'm going to move on, right? You can repeat that all the way down. The big thing is be mindful of the elbow joint. Be mindful of the wrist. Wrist has got a lot of bones, not a lot of uh, tissue there. You can run the risk of just really hurting them. So stay kind of in between this area, nice dense tissue. Since we've done that, I'm going to come over here. We're going to work the top of forearms. Now you can see those two bones, the ulna and the radius. They match up perfectly with the bones in your palm. And that's what we're going to do. So about an inch to two inches above the wrist, I'm going to take my, um, my two bones, 
marry them up to these bones just like that. Hook in, you see, you'll see the, the tissue move, ready? Boom, did you see that? Just like that, now I'm hooked in. I like to take my inside hand, we're just gonna hold hands, we're gonna be best friends while we do this. I like to sit back, and now I'm gonna be moving in this plane. So it is a little bit of down pressure, but really it's shearing oh, you know, away from me. So hook in, just like that, you can see, and I'm gonna just, it's really, really slow. How does that feel, Kristen? Good. Now I like to use my bottom hand to move my receiver's hand around. And then do that because sometimes this tissue can get really stuck, and when we're just holding it, it's just like we're gonna sit here forever, and I don't wanna do that. So we're gonna move this around. Kristen's gonna make Sorry. her. No, Sounds she's like talking to Lugie. She's gonna make these beautiful, I <laughs> love this noises. <laughs> and I'm gonna agree with her because it is great. Now, I feel more dense tissue on this side, so I'm gonna just lean a little bit with my hand and continue going up, just like that. And again, I'm using my bottom hand to really just continue to move the arm around so I can get some, a little bit more movement so I'm not here forever. Now, I feel a lot of really dense stuff in here, so I'm gonna just like really hook in, lean down a little bit more, and I'm gonna ask Kristen to just, you know, type on the typewriter or move your hand around, act like you're on a computer. She types weird. I don't know who types like I've that. I've never typed on a typewriter. I mean, so very clearly. To this out. I mean, keyboard. The kind there of the go. same thing. Okay. Oh no, that made the biggest. I mean, difference. keyboard. This is this is typewriter. This is keyboard. How is that? Anyway, <laughs> Kristen doesn't know how to use her fingers. Oh, I can. Anyway, <laughs> it's amazing. So we're just going to continue to go forward all the way up. Okay, and then I'm getting close to that nice elbow joint. I'm going to hold it again and have her. Uh, keyboard type, not swipe. Oh gosh, keyboards are eventually going to be like obsolete. We're going to have implants in our brains. Right. And we're just going to type all the stuff with our head. So for millennials, keyboards, and then what Gen Z is going to be swipe and. Oh, this is something different. I don't know, something. Anyway, so just have your receiver move, move their hands around Oops. in some archaic way. Very good. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and I feel more dense tissue up here by her elbow. Uh -huh. And you can see all of those muscles, brachio, brachioradialis and biceps, uh -huh. um, brachialis, they all cro cross over that um, elbow joint. So really, when you're working the forearm, you're also kind of passively working the, you know, the top of your arm, your biceps, your triceps, and everything like that, because muscles pass over joints. That's what keeps our joints you know, doing their thing. So once you've done this a few times, who are we at one time? 17. Okay, so once, we're, once you've done that a few times, uh, ooh, did you feel that? Heck yeah, I feel that. Chonky. She called herself Chonky, not me. And, yeah. and I'm just gonna shear up because I'm, I'm following where I'm feeling her dense tissue. The more you guys do this, the better you'll be able to feel it and to know where to go. It just takes some time. So as of right now, just make sure that you're checking in with your receiver. Hamburger hands. And using your hamburger hands. Everybody likes hamburger hands, right? And checking in with your receiver. So once I've done that, I do like to come in and do some gentle traction. So you can see I've got my legs here, you know, and I'm just grabbing her wrist because that's what feels good, and I'm leaning back. I'm not pulling her with my arms. I'm not using my arms. I've got a hold, and I'm leaning. And this feels good for me. Now, some people don't like that on their wrist, so we're gonna go above and lean. Some people don't like that, we're gonna go to the arm, elbow and lean. Some people are like, oh, my skin, that was me. You can grab a towel <laughs> or a shirt or something like that to just kind of protect the sensitive baby skin that people have. I can say that because my skin is sensitive baby skin. I also like to do the kind of sliding down the fingers. That's a little bit of traction as well. It just feels good, man. We don't get our fingers worked on as much. And I'm really working the finger muscles. I'm trying not, or actually let me rephrase. I'm not trying to pop the finger joints. If that happens, cool. If it doesn't happen, cool. So just talk with your receiver. Some people are really into that, some people aren't. So you can see all of the forearm muscles. Do you see how packed our forearms are, I mean, you would think that there's not that much in there, but it's so much. 
And as you can see, there's a lot of tendons that start trending down towards the wrist. And that's the reason why earlier when we were doing um, our knees and our feet and the uh, forearm, we wanted to be very, very mindful of the wrist because it is so tendony. So again, I'm just sliding my fingers down Kristen's finger, which is doing some really, really great traction on her arm and her hand and fingers. But I'm also working these muscles that um, typically are just kind of in a claw because we grab a lot of stuff in life, which is weird, I guess. I'm not sure. So once I've had a chance to do that, I like to come in and just curl my fingers into the palm and then spread like that. Remember how when she was face up, we spread this way? Now we're spreading the top of the hand with that nice fleshy part of our hand. Be mindful, this area is also very tendinous, not a whole lot of uh, really thick muscles unless you got some really strong hands. So you don't wanna use tons and tons of pressure, just check in with your receivers. So once you've had a chance to spread, I'm gonna just take and bring her elbow and arm up to 90. And I'm gonna come in and sit. This feels good for me. This is comfortable. And now I can just work on the palms of her hand. Just like we did when, she, uh, when I had her arm here. Now I'm sitting here, because honestly, this feels good for me. I'm not bent over, and I'm just hanging out. You don't have to do all of these moves. You don't have to do all of these techniques. But you should. You sh according to Kristen, you should, because mm -hmm. they are amazing. Mm -hmm. But really, the great thing about Thai massage is finding moves that fit you and your receiver. I'm not, I don't want you guys to do stuff where it hurts you, because mm -hmm. if it hurts you, you're not going to want to do it, because who wants to hurt when they're trying to help somebody? No. So we're going to do stuff that feels good for us, and that's the reason why you see uh, variations on positions, variations on approach, because Kristen and I are different people. We have different needs, we have different pressure tolerances, and different bodies. Lean back and do that. Now I'm also going to do the, gro the cross body stretch. This really just helps free up the shoulder girdle, um, specifically the delts, and honestly it just feels amazing and do it all the time. So I like to grab the wrist and just come across just like that. I'm going to have my receiver take a big deep breath in, and then I'm going to lean back. How's that feel? Good. Again, I'm not using my arms to pull her because my upper body is not super strong. I've got to hold, and I'm leaning. I'm using all of my body weight to move Kristen, just like that. And I'm going to let her go back down and have a floppy arm. That's another thing. Lots of people have smartwatches. They're awesome. They also get in the way. So I'm going to come in, move my receiver's arm around again. And again, we're just going to do, I'm going to have, you mind lifting up real quick? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and we use palm presses down the arms like we just did, starting in the pecs, because it feels nice. And again, stacking my body weight, just like that. Leaning in. And if you'll see, my bottom hand right below that elbow joint, just like that. I like to come in and rock forward and release. I can feel the tension that she's got here in her bicep. It's a lot. Christian is, or, Do you oh, know why? Why? So I was tubing. Yeah. All that paddling from the low rivers. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say we were super strong. It's true, but it's also from trying to get my tube through the water mm -hmm. with no flow. <laughs> oh, goodness. So right in this area, I feel that. I'm going to come in with a little bit of a soft heel of my hand, but definitely use more of the palm because it's sharp. And I'm going to lean in. She loves it. That's what that noise I was. I do love it. Again, I'm going to take my outside bottom hand, and I'm just going to move the arm around. Oh, oh, she loves it. She does. So what this is doing is, as we're moving it around, it's getting the muscles um, from their attachment, um, their origin and insertions, 
and just really kind of pinning them around and squishing them around. Oftentimes when our muscles hurt, it's because they've been stuck in one position. And then when we go to use them, they're like, nah, fam, I don't move like that. And we're like, no, you do. So that's what we're doing right here is we're reminding them that they can move, re they can move around, reminding them that they don't have to be stuck in this curled up strong position. So once we've done that all the way down, really feeling it. I know Kristen's got, uh, Kristen's got stuff here and Kristen's got stuff here, all right? I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna take my inside knee, again, right below the elbow. We don't wanna you know, cause any damage here. So we're gonna go boop, right there. That feels good, there's a lot of dense tissue. Soft front of our knee, right there, not that point, that's really sharp. Soft front of our knee. I'm gonna come in and just slowly bring it down. Uh, do you like more or less? It's uh, good. Okay. Now my hips feel really narrow and I don't feel stable, so I'm going to take my outside knee and just open up. Ah, that feels really good for me. I can sit back. I can do stuff because I'm not all centered in here. So I've got pressure here, and now I have her hand. You can have your receiver move around. I'm going to have you make a fist. All right now, this is fun. Mm -hmm. So I like to come in underneath, lift up the hand like this, and then do some articulation. It is intense. Go slow. Give your receivers a chance to process what you are doing, just like that. Another thing, you can see her hand is curled, and it's because I'm pressing on these muscles. So she's got this like little bit of a claw and I could press in more and it'll, you know, as we move down, it'll start clawing in more. But what you can do is come in and take your hand and just really open up that whole palm just like that. Really get that movement in there. And as you can see, I'm using the palm of my hand to just slide and open. This is really great. It's kind of like a myofascial release. I mean, it is a myofascial release because we're not using any lotion. And we're just hooking in and stretching and moving stuff around. So now her hand is really, really, really light. So I'm going to have you take a big deep breath in. And I'm going to back out just a little bit. And she's got color back. We're going to use our hamburger hands just like that feels good get some circulation back in there but i'm not done because kristen needs the work so we were here i'm now going to move right there okay again lower your knee in not the sharp pointy part how does that feel so i've got her trapped again you know i mean obviously respect your receiver's wishes and i'm going to come in with my hands and now we're going to do all this beautiful hand work so I like to use my thumbs here. I don't use my thumbs um, in a lot of places, really only the neck and hands and belly. Everything else is going to be palms, forearms, and feet and knees because we use our hands for delicate work and for eating. As you can see, I'm just sliding up, finding all of that dense tissue. Now your receiver's hands will have you know, similar but also different areas that need to be worked on. But pretty much everybody needs this nice big part of the thumb muscle worked. Down here on the right by the wrist. And just opening it up. It feels good. It's intense, y'all. It really is intense. But I like to come in too when we get to our hands in between all of these joints because honestly it just doesn't get worked as much. We you know we claw our hands up all the time. So we're gonna come in and just go in between there. Get some nice stuff done. Mm, it feels good. You guys can spend as long as you want here. Just be mindful. If your receiver's hands A turn really, really white like Kristen's, you can see look how white that is. Like I'm really white and she's lighter than me right now. And um, but if their hand gets really, really light colored or they're getting numbness and tingling or pain, anything that feels uncomfortable, you're just going to say, take a big deep breath in 
And then we are going to slowly back out. We're gonna watch the color go back into her hand. If the knee on there was too much, you can just sit back here and do hand stuff. Like how easy is that, right? So then we're gonna do some nice traction. And again, I'm not grabbing her with my arms and pulling. I'm just holding and leaning just like that. I didn't do this on the other side, which I should have, but another really, really great uh, shoulder opener is you take, bring your hip to your receiver's hip, boop. Take your inside leg, we're gonna hook it right into the armpit. Now I like to angle my foot to a little bit more of a knife so I can slide in there a little bit more easily. And I'm gonna come grab wrist and traction. Again, not using my arms to pull, I'm leaning. And then if I wanna make it more awesome, I open my foot like that. See her eyes open? Because it was amazing. I was dreaming. It was amazing, that's what it was. Those <laughs> I were. I slipped into the to, yeah, dreams and then quickly yeah. was awoken from awesomeness is what she meant. So we're gonna be a little bit more gentle. We don't turn our foot as much. Um, just lean back. It would be more awesome, turn your foot. Just like that. You'll see their faces like, oh, I love it. Again, Good. hold these for as long as you need. Nice big traction. So once we've done that, I'm gonna bring her arm down, down and out, just kind of whatever feels comfortable. Sometimes you might have to prop your receiver's arm with like something, but Kristen's good being flat. So we're gonna come in, take these two bones, marry them up to the radius and ulna, just like that, grab the bottom and just start sliding. And again, it's a little bit of downward pressure, but it's mainly that away. Think of like a jet taking off or landing. Think of a car driving, cause that's not gonna fly away. So we're just gonna keep driving forward. So weird. <laughs> Don't let Kristen be your receiver because she makes you laugh when you tell awesome jokes, okay? I was like, where are we going with this? I know. Think of a jet. <laughs> <laughs> so moving you're, you're on from my great. awesome analogies, I've got my bottom hand just moving her hand around to again help facilitate that uh, myofascial release that we're doing on the top of this forearm. As we get to this more dense tissue towards the elbow, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. I'm gonna kind of sink in and I'm gonna have her type on our keyboard, not typewriter, because I'm old, and um, move your mouse around before we lose that as well. Ooh, I feel that so much. So for me, what I'm feeling is all of her muscles just rolling back and forth, which means they're really, really tight. So I'm gonna come in and grab because she's getting away from me a little bit. Oh, there we go. And I'm gonna continue forward, driving forward, not flying, driving forward, just like that. Now you guys can see I'm doing a little bit of cross fiber friction, ooh, massage term. This is basically I've sunk in and I'm just moving around, just helping to break up some of that more dense tissue it needs a little bit of extra love. You guys can do that in the top, more lateral, more medial. So top, inside, outside, medial, lateral, just like that. Since we've done that, I like to come down. What time are we at? We don't know. So I like to come down and curl my hands. 34. Cool. Curl my hands into the palm using the, my, the palms of my hands. And again, just spreading just like that because it feels really good. Mm -hmm. Be mindful of all of the uh, tiny bone structures, tiny muscles and ligaments, and everything that connects our hands, connects our, our fingers to our hands. That was you. So I pop. felt, yeah, I felt a little bit of pop here in Kristen's uh, kind of wrist slash thumb area. Yeah, it's her thumb. Okay, it was, she says it was her. She says it was her thumb. We don't really know though. And well, I mean, you know your body more than I do, so. I'm gonna give it a little bit extra attention to her thumb. You can see I'm moving it around. I, well, let's see. I'm going like this as I move it around with my palm. So I'm grabbing and just moving it around, getting a little bit of traction and gentle stretch as I'm also curling my hands. It's like you're massaging the udder. Uh, yeah, it's like I'm massaging the udder. If you guys were here earlier, Kristen refers to this as milking the cow. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure what cow. I'm going to say heifer. So I'm just like <laughs> air on that side. I'm sure all my farm people would appreciate that. You know, girl cows. And uh, so we're going to milk Kristen's girl cow udders just like that all the way down. You're very good at that. Kristen says I'm very good at milking cows. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that as a compliment. Yep. Clearly not your first time. Not my first time milking a cow. Not your first rodeo? Oh, man. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? She said not your first rodeo. <laughs> man. Oh, you want to you hear what I heard today? Tell me. Yeah. Uh, mashed potatoes are just Irish guacamole. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Seriously? Guys, I mean, I this joke it. was guess. so wasted on her. White people are laughing. So uh, hard. I'm Irish. I just, I don't think I don't it's know funny. if you're Irish at this point. I'm Scottish. Any potato joke should be hilarious. So, anyway, I'm laughing on the inside. It's probably since so relaxed I couldn't laugh That's at it. That's what it is. She's so relaxed. I'm, I'm so relaxed I didn't think it was funny. I'm so good <laughs> at milking Kristen's udders. <laughs> that I just can't <laughs> laugh. <laughs> that she can't laugh anymore. We're soups That's professional. That's such a lie. <laughs> <laughs> so once you're finished milking your receiver, <laughs> yeah, in the least creepy she's, way. She, in the least creepy way, she started this. So once you're done with that, we're gonna bring the elbow up to 90 degrees, and again, you can just work the palm because that oh, feels good. Best. It is the best. And as you can see, I like to come in and do these like, I don't know, weird flappy arm things, but it feels so good to just open up that palm just like that. Now again, if this hurts your hands, y'all, don't do it. Just don't do it. You know, there's, there's other things that we can do. And if you message us and are like, hey, that hand thing hurt, let me know. We'll show you a whole bunch of other stuff that we can do. This doesn't hurt me, so this is what I'm teaching you guys. I like to come in and just do these um, just sliding friction, just opening it up, it feels good. And I can really get into this. Just be mindful again, there's lots of bones, lots of tendons, lots of muscles. But it all feels good. Come in, I like to traction again. And then we're gonna do our cross body traction. Because that always feels amazing. Okay, Kristen is ready for this, y'all. Big deep breath in. Strap in. And lean, just like that. Ooh, how's that? She loves it. She loves it. Now, as you guys can see, I'm sitting on my feet, or my foot, because that's what feels good for me. So find a position that works well for you. You guys know your body best. You've been in it for a while. So I'm going to slowly lower her down, just like that. Ta-da! And now she's got dead arms. <sighs> How do you feel? I feel alive. You got hands now? I feel lighter. Good. So Kristen says she feels lighter. She says that she has, um, I'm going to say jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Once udders, now jazzy. Yeah, she said they're now jazzy udders. That's what we've gone to. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, that is a very quick and easy way to work on your arms, um, specifically your forearms and hands. But don't forget, we got biceps and triceps. A little bit of delt, a little bit of pec, but really it's these beautiful, delicate, honestly amazing instruments that allow us to interact with the world. They get really tired. Um, and here's some way to help them. So I hope you guys really enjoyed today's uh, Thai Jam. And if you have anything else that you want to see, you want to see variations on techniques, um, if you are just like, hey, that hurt me, how do I change it? Let us know. We'll show you tons of other stuff. Anything else, Kristen? All right, so yeah, if you guys are interested, we also have some super awesome uh, information here from Robert. Um, table tie, intro to tie, a lot of the stuff is also in here. Um, but really the the benefit is way more information is also in here like it's awesome um, but you can see it uh, on the website and then um, we'll see you guys in a couple of weeks anything else Kristen no she says no so have a great rest of your day and be safe out there y'all because it's a million degrees so drink lots of water and we'll see you later goodbye bye